So basically today we've set up a vaccination pop-up clinic as we know the north is an area where vaccine uptake is quite low so we thought this would be a really good place and really good hub to sort of link in with and hopefully get plenty of people vaccinated respect for the dancers respect for the singers you guys are really amazing so it's a partnership between uh, the liverpool city council the central liverpool primary care network and the liverpool school of tropical medicine and we had like a three-pronged approach to it um, data quality, looking at routine data, behavioural insights, and then developing community innovation teams. And of course, poverty and ill health are, are really closely linked. So Liverpool's an incredible city. It's got amazing people, a really proud tradition of trying to do the right thing. But unfortunately, there is lots of ill health and lots of inequalities in the city. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the city's been particularly badly affected. And of course, one of the main interventions you put into place to deal with the pandemic is vaccination. Now, we've seen poor levels of vaccine uptake in some parts of our communities. So this project has been specifically designed to try and increase uh, vaccine uptake to address vaccine hesitancy issues, but also to learn about community engagement, health engagement, and how we can do things better in the future. We call them community innovation teams because they're not only focused on vaccine hesitancy, but they're teams which bring together primary care, the city council, um, maybe academics, community champions, volunteers from the target populations, and others that might have expertise that are co-opted. And those innovation teams um, are focused on looking at data and analysing it and using it, in this case on COVID vaccination. So there's three teams established and they each first looked at their data. Yeah, so on the data it shows 75% of the Chinese students who haven't got this uh, vaccination, uh, you know, like um, it's not shows on NHS system. So and this is like a, you know, like a task we want to find out whether this is really that many students haven't get their vaccination done or it's just because the data haven't been corrected. And they found four reasons really why the data might not be reliable. Um, could be people genuinely haven't been vaccinated. It could be that they'd been vaccinated in China, but they couldn't get their vaccination recognised here in the UK. Could be that at registration there'd been an error in their name, so there were duplicate rep records. Or it could be that they were still on the GP records, but they'd left university and they'd left even Britain. Because they found out the data, uh, but they couldn't find a better way to approach Chinese community, how to approach Chinese students, how to get them uh, you know the event or get validated, what's the demand, so they don't know, so that's why they contact the community champion team and so get you know, us involved in this project. Uh, today we're having the international student vaccine validations, so anyone who had a vaccine and back to their home country, they can get validated today. Specifically kitten off, we're working on vaccine hesitancy in white men under 50. So basically we work with the, um, the databases uh, from the PCN, so the Primary Care Network database and the NHS databases. We would contact white men under 50 specifically. We would done surveys over the phone. Uh, we also use community champions to go and contact these people directly face to face uh, to complete the survey. So the approach is collect the data, analyse it, identify the problem with the right people in the room to look at that data and then develop local solutions to the local problem. We know it's not easy, we're not saying it's easy, but please don't stop because if you like giving it up, no, no, no. It's very important for the community champion to be from the community because they know what the community needs and they know what the community think about. Community champion have to uh, get involved in different events and different campaign like the event we just did in, um, the, in the Women's Hospital, 
we try to um, see different people there and talk to them uh, about the vaccine and especially for the women who are pregnant they had like, the, the different messages they used to have uh, pregnant women cannot take the vaccines and then um, the doctor told them that this is the true and then in the bed they change it say that it's safe now they can take the vaccine so the way that vaccine uptake is mapped across the city we can very clearly see links with communities who are already living in poor health with the biggest health inequalities and probably the most deprived parts of our city as well and so actually these are the communities who would most benefit from being vaccinated and i think for me and um, trust is a big issue and i think if we bring trust back into the system i think our um, vaccination rates will increase when you hear, you know, hard to reach, they're not hard to reach. You have a problem with communication, just, you know, kind of say that. Um, so, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's not rocket science. It's just doing what we should be doing, but doing it well and with the right people. And that can be absolutely transformative. So this is a fantastic project in partnership with Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine, with Public Health, Liverpool City Council and our NHS colleagues, but most importantly our amazing communities. It's such good work that's happened over the last couple of months and we are determined to take that learning into our model of health going forward. I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's been involved in it. It really is incredible stuff. Keep on going, go.